Welcome to another episode of Bapo's Whiteboard. Today's topic is a family of hybrid tricks which are intermediate between target, cascade, or fountain tricks and starting shower or pseudo shower tricks. So it has fewer balls than the, than the fountain or cascade throws that it uses. Uh, so it's a, they are stair steps up to the target tricks. Before I show the family and describe them, I first want to answer a question which is at least on some of your minds, which is, what the heck is a pseudo shower? A shower is a trick that has odd high throws and ones and has an even period. Are there any tricks which have only ones and high throws, but the high throws are even? So it's like, say, ones and sixes. It's clear that you can't have just six one, six one, six one, six forever the average isn't an integer. A collision would ensue from one of the sixes and one of the later ones, no matter what even number you picked, there would always be a collision. Another problem is, operationally, if you threw only ones and only sixes, this side would run out of balls. But if the period were odd, then it would go back and forth, instead of all, always being on one side, and then it could work out. So, two obvious ways of doing this, within the context of trying to have as equal as possible a number of ones and sixes, say, you could have one extra high throw, one extra six, say, or one extra one. Another solution of the problem is to have the same number of ones and sixes, however, to add one more zero, just one zero, that then makes the period odd. In this case, also, the pattern would go back and forth and, and would also work. So these are the three families of pseudo showers. Here they are. The tricks that have an extra high throw I call the superior pseudo shower because of the extra high throw. The tricks with the extra one I call inferior. They have two ones in a row. And the gapped pseudo showers are those that have zeros in them. Let's see the relationship between the pseudo showers and the, and the showers. So color coded, the purple throws, the uh, purple tricks are all the pseudo showers, and the red tricks are showers. You will recognize some of the tricks in the middle as, as uh, like three ball showers, five one five one. Here's the familial relationships between the shower and the superior pseudo shower. The tricks all start with a high throw, and then each trick lower. Um, increases its period by one, so there's one more throw, and it's either a one or a high throw, one or a high throw. And the high throw always increases by one. In the case of the inferior pseudo shower, the first throw is a one, and then a high throw, and then a one, and so forth. Again, the high throw increases by one as you go down, and the period increases one as you go down. So I hope you can see the relationship between say 131 and 1515. So this is the relationship showing the pseudo shower's relationship to the shower on either side. And the gapped pseudo shower, it's a little bit more complicated to see how the relationship is. We need the period to increase by one again in every case, and we need the high throw to increase by one in every case. So these the high throw is a zero, one, two, three, four, five. But since the zeros, if you will, blink on and off, we add the throws two at a time, if you will, the, the, the non-zero throws two at a time. So we blink the zero off and add two throws, and then we put the zero back on, incrementing the high throw. Then the zero goes off, but we add another pair of throws. So it's one, three, one, three, <coughs> and then add another zero. So you can see the 1-1 one, one turns into a 1-2, but with a 0, and then 1-3-1-3 one, three, one, three turns into 1-4-1-4, one, four, one, four, but with a 0, and so forth. So these are the three families of pseudo showers. Now, you might think that it's a little unfair that, you know, there's only one shower, but there's three pseudo showers, but that isn't really true. Really, since the shower is an asymmetrical pattern, there's really the right-handed shower and the left-handed shower. So there's two showers and three pseudo showers. Okay, here are the hybrids. I've kept the color coding and added blue for cascade and green for fountain throws. Let's get right into it. Looking for the cascade shower hybrid tricks, um, suppose your target trick is seven. You can start with a four ball shower, seven one seven one seven one, and there are five ball and six ball tricks which have a little bit of cascade, or quite a bit of cascade, and quite a bit of shower or a little bit of shower that are in between, and in my opinion in between in difficulty also. 
Um, these are both pretty well-known five and six ball tricks. There's also a hybrid between the pseudo shower and the cascade. So once again, if our target trick is seven, we could start with a three ball gapped pseudo shower and stick in a seven in place of the zero or have three sevens or five sevens before getting to seven sevens. So we just delete a ball and replace it with sevens, delete another, replace it with sevens. Once again, these tricks are in between the three ball trick and the seven ball trick. Um, with a fountain shower hybrid, these are pretty well known tricks, I think. Um, the three ball shower one five, um, repeated three times to get a period of six, so it's the same as the throw height of the target trick. You can then replace one of the balls with two sixes, and replace another one with two more sixes, and then the last one with two more sixes. Um, so there's a four ball and a five ball trick which are in between the three and the six. So these are, once again, stair steps. Um, if I write them this way, you know, from zero you do one step, two steps, and three steps, and then you're doing the whole, the whole six uh, fountain. And I could rotate the board in the same way um, for all these examples. In the case of the pseudo shower, we can start with a five ball um, superior pseudo shower, which is eights and ones. And, um, and then stick in eights. We can turn any one of the ones into an eight, okay? Because the period is seven, you can add the period to any throw. So there's a trick that has a little bit of eight or a lot of eight and a lot of pseudo shower or a little bit less before finally running out of pseudo shower and just doing the fountain all the time. Um, now I used eight in this example because I wanted um, two hybrid tricks in between. There's only one trick at the sixth level in between um, the four ball pseudo shower and the six ball fountain is just six 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 one and I wanted to show more so the idea of the steps is clearer. Um, incidentally I performed this trick on ten years of not juggling and I'd also like to comment that um, in many cases and I've drawn some out here there are anagrams of the tricks where you can just rearrange them and get another trick. In this case the period goes from six to three because it repeats and that happens to be the case here as well. In this case, the anagram, um, it still has a period of seven. It, it, I can't write it any shorter than this. These two tricks are the two that really helped me learn eight balls. They improved my eight ball skills um, after I started practicing them, so just these in particular. Um, a couple of comments. Um, irrespective of whether your target trick throws, if you're trying to learn the cascade, so we're talking odd throws, you can have an even period or an odd period, depending on if you're hybrids or shower or pseudo shower. And that also applies if your target throws are, are evens. You, th these are even period and these are odd period. In other words, if it's a shower hybrid, it's got an even period. And if it's a pseudo shower hybrid, it's got an odd period. Now, with respect to um, those of you who are trying to juggle higher numbers, that's a, that's a harder job to do but side swaps in some way comes to the rescue because the number of hybrid tricks increases in there's a larger gap between the shower pseudo shower and the target trick so there's more steps to walk up to and there's a lot more anagrams at the higher numbers the number of anagrams starts to get really mind-boggling at the larger numbers um, and so there's many more opportunities to find a trick which can train the skills that you're seeking for your numbers trick. The higher the number is that, that it is that you're seeking to, uh, to, to juggle. Um, unfortunately, if you're trying to juggle four balls, there's only one hybrid trick, 4413, for example. Um, and in the, in the fountain shower context and in the pseudo shower fountain context there's no hybrid I mean there's the pseudo shower and there's two pseudo showers or three um, counting the gapped one but there's no hybrid there's just the pseudo showers and then the next trick up is the is the fountain um, anyway those are some thoughts about this family of hybrid tricks that are between either the cascade or fountain and the shower or pseudo shower thanks for watching